I'm gonna do some electrolysis rust removal. It's cleaning up these wheels for the purple 1850. And the more I got into them, this the dirtier they were. This is actually the better of the two. And so I decided I'm just gonna break them down and do it right. Got some scaly stuff here that would have probably eventually caused a flat or something. Electrolysis rust removal. There's lots of videos on this on the internet. And um, so if you Google or search YouTube for it, you'll find a lot more. But I've been using this for a while. Uh, all the sheet metal here was cleaned with it. A little bit of wire wheeling afterwards. It doesn't do the best with getting paint off, but it does great with rust. Um, so the rustier it is, the better it does. Uh, I got a bigger tank I usually use, but for a couple of rims, I'm just going to use this trash can. You want something that's not metal because you don't need it conducting or corroding so this plastic trash can is going to work nice and then i've got this sheet of metal um, any steel will do you don't want stainless or you just want regular steel stainless has cadmium and other metals in it that will leach out in the process and make the water toxic uh, just regular good old-fashioned carbon steel or regular steel so you can like use old plowshares or just metal you got laying around the farm cast i haven't tried cast iron but i've used some of the other just old metal parts because they're going to corrode away because it uses a charge to pull the iron out of uh, this piece and break down the rust and kind of kind of iron plate iron that's the way i understand it so I'm going to get that piece there in my tank and, and we'll go to the next step. Well, I had to fold my sheet metal a little bit to make it fit in the barrel good. But it's just leftover sheet metal from a project my brother had. Got a bunch of it, so good use for it. I like to have a little bit going across the bottom. It's a kind of a line of sight thing. So the more directions you can get your uh, in fact, sacrificial metal coming from, the, the better it's going to do. Um, I've got my wheel set up. Just got a piece of mechanic wire to hold it in place. And I'm going to set it in and balance it with the, this 2x4. All right. 2x4 installed wires up here it's very important that the part you're cleaning does not touch the other part you'll get a dead short and your battery charger will let you know and I like to hang stuff with mechanics wire um, that way if I do get a dead short it's small enough wire that it will melt in half and break the circuit if some reason something did touch not too often I've had that happen, but I have had it once or twice and saw a wire glow and break and so it acts like a fuse. Might get a little more uh, conductivity out of something else, but I like the safety factor myself. So the next thing is to fill it up with water and get this part submerged. The water is filled. Barrel's pretty much full. Biggest thing is the part. The rim I'm cleaning is under. Went a little short on wire, so I couldn't hang it deeper than that. Put that on the shopping list. Uh, you hook your negative to the part you're cleaning, and your positive to the sacrificial metal. I got a jumper cable between the two pieces to electrically connect the anodes, or I believe those are the anodes, but the sacrificial metal. And I'm going to turn it on. And I'm not drawing any amps. And nothing's happening. So there's no short. That's good. That is where that is where the lie comes in. It's an electrolyte. Ooh, it's even food grade. Um, still, it can cause severe burns. It's very uh, alkaline. Uh, the other thing you can use is washing soda, which is very uh not caustic <laughs> not not gonna hurt you you'd um, you can get it pretty much at any store that sells uh laundry 
detergents. Uh, Arm & Hammer makes it. You can get it for a couple bucks a box. I like Lye for a couple of reasons. I think it loosens up the paint better. It doesn't take a whole lot of it. I, I mean, it costs more. It's harder to find these days. Um, a lot of people you know, use it for making soap. I got mine online because used to be you could just get it anywhere for drain cleaner and and it just doesn't seem to be that way anymore because someone's probably going to hurt themselves. So I'll put some gloves on before I open this up and dump it in there. But it acts as an electrolyte and what it does is make the water conduct better. And so uh, I've seen recipes online how many gallons of water takes how much lye or, or washing soda which is the washing this is sodium hydroxide the washing soda is sodium carbonate not sodium bicarbonate which is baking soda or is that baking powder yeah that's baking soda you want washing soda and they just all they do is just make the water more conductive oh i am getting a couple of little bubbles off from it that means it's starting to do something i've got an electrical connection so i'm going to start putting the lye in another reason i like the lye is uh if i do this in the summertime uh it makes the water alkaline enough mosquitoes can't breed in it if you use a washing soda you'll get it'll be a breeding ground for mosquitoes because it's that neutral you might have heard in the news recently where uh, someone hacked into a water system in florida and and increased the amount of sodium hydroxide they put in so in low concentrations obviously it's not deadly because they put it into drinking water um, they use it to make pretzels more cr uh, give them the harder outside soft crustle pretzels but it's a very low concentration now oh, i can see more bubbles forming now but in the concentrations like it comes in the bottle you get it on your skin or in your eyes it's gonna hurt it's gonna mess you up so it's all about doses let's see what the amp gauge is showing looks like it's come up some let's see if i turn it off yep needle goes down a little bit well i can handle more amps than that let's put some more in it's got to dissolve too so i got a couple bottles of it I usually just add it and I watch my amp gauge and I start getting up around 15 amps. That's kind of the most I want to continuously draw on my charger. It's rated for more, but I'm getting a good current at that point. I might have to stir this a little bit to get it dissolved. Normally I would have put some in ahead of time then adding the water would have helped stir it, but I wanted to demonstrate. You'll see these bubbles coming off and that's uh, the electrolysis happening and it's actually splitting water open into hydrogen and oxygen so it's best not to do it in a really confined space I've done it in my shop a lot of times and I guess so far so good I'm gonna say don't try this at home do it outdoors and also it will freeze so it's hard to do it outdoors this time of year she's bubbling pretty good now You can hardly see it, but you can, well, or you can't see the rim anymore just from the bubbles and crud. This wasn't the cleanest container, so I'm probably going to clean my uh, trash can while I'm at it. Well, it's been about five hours since I put it in. Of course, that shiny stuff there was stuff I'd wire wheeled before I put it in. But the inside I had not touched. So let's hose it off some and see how things are going. Comes off better with a power washer. Yeah, some of it's hosing off. But that's the top side, which wasn't really getting good exposure. Let's swirl to the bottom side. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. I think I will. Move the wire to the other side and rotate it and put it back in. 
I'll let it cook some more. But it's coming free. Well, as we can see, this brim is pretty dirty. Not pitted rusty, but surface rust. I blasted the paint off of my power washer. And uh, the inside of the rim was, yeah. So just wanted to show uh, some before shots of this one before I stick it in. Now I got both the rims out. Uh, this one spent the weekend in. It doesn't look all that different, but we'll hit her with a power washer. And then I've got this other piece that I put in 24 hours ago, roughly. That I left part. I can see stuff peeling off. Left part of it out so we could basically have some comparison. So, set that there and we'll hit her with a washer. And we'll start with this. got some flash rust this time don't usually get that but I usually get them dried off a little quicker too but I usually wire wheel them do something do a final cleanup um, as you can see on this panel here you can see exactly where it was underwater and where where it was above water Go we'll grab a little wire wheel on a drill and see how this cleans up. I just pulled these uh, sacrificial pieces of metal out of the tank. As you can see, they rusted on the side that's facing the wheel, but not on the side that was away from it. So I can fold them around the other way, reuse them. You can also take another piece of sacrificial metal and, and reverse the charge to clean these up and uh, put them back in. So they will kind of slow down in their efficiency if, once this crud builds up. So you can either take them out and we'll just wash it off or do the other way. But uh, that's all I'm gonna clean up for now. So they're coming out. Definitely a cheap way to go at it if you got the uh, time and patience to uh, leave it in the tank for a day or so. And probably if you got the electrolyte concentration a little uh, more intense and got a few more amps through it and a little more voltage, I saw a YouTube video of someone hooked theirs up to a welder. They made a small frame up, to, uh, almost like a small swimming pool, and did a car frame in it. So I guess that's uh, trying to think. I think they only did a few hours. But that's what I'm doing to clean up sheet metal. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.